so once you create all the folder and javascript files so we will be now creating the navbar into our react application so for react application so we will be creating one functional component here so for a functional component so i will be using the snippet so to install snippet just go into this extension here and search for react snippet so just go into this first one es7 and react snippet so just click on install so now if i just go onto this navbar and type rfc so this will automatically create the functional component with the name navbar so you can see navbar so you can just rename this one as well so i won't be renaming this one so here we just need to add now the bootstrap so we will be using the bootstrap so for using the bootstrap into our react application so we just need to download or install the bootstrap using the npm so for that just type npm and just type bootstrap and just go to this first link from npmjs.com and you can see the installation instruction so just type this one or you can directly copy this one from here so just click on this npm bootstrap so this will copy and go to this vs code again and open the terminal so if you are running the react application and one terminal so you can just click on this add and this will automatically add the new one and just type control and b to paste that and just click enter so this should add the bootstrap into our react application so if i just go into this packet digestion so you can see the bootstrap 5.1.3 has been successfully added into our react application so once we add the bootstrap so to use the bootstrap into our react application so we just have to configure some of the things so just go into this app.js and just type import and dot dot slash node modules and bootstrap so just type bootstrap slash dist slash css and just type bootstrap dot mean dot css so once you add this so you will be now able to use the bootstrap into our react application so once we do that so let me again go to the browser and search for bootstrap and let's go to the first link from get bootstrap.com and just go into this docs and here source for navbar and if you scroll down here so you can see the navbar here so let me just copy the code from here so let me just copy into clipboard and again go to the navbar.js let me just close this one from here and if i just paste that so we won't be needing all the code here so just delete the code from button up to this div so let me just clear everything from here and let me just save this one so here so the name is class so we just need to change this class into the class name so for that just type command and f or control f and this will find the class and so you can just manually type this class as well and we just need to replace this by class and capital name so just click enter so this will replace the class name so just click enter enter and just click on enter so this has replaced all the class names here so let me just close this one from here so once you do that so we are all good to go and now we have to import this navbar into the app.js since we are running the application from app.js so let me just clear this header from here so we don't need this header anymore and also we don't need this logo as well so let me just clear everything from here and if i just save and now we just need to import the navbar inside here so for that let me just type navbar so just type navbar and you can see this has automatically suggested us so this is from layout and navbar so just click enter so this will automatically import here so if you are not able to get the auto import so you can just manually type as well so just type slash and just close the bracket and if i just save this one from here and again go to the react application and so this is not showing anything because we have closed the react application so just go into the terminal again and just go into this new terminal and just type npm start again so this should now again start our react application so the react application has been started and you can see the navbar here so i just want to change some of the things from here so let me just go into the navbar and here so i just want to write navbar dark so i just want to make it as a dark theme and busy 
primary so i just want to make it blue so i will just type primary so if i just type control and as to save this one so you can see so this is looking a beautiful nav bar here so so basically i just want to change this nav bar into something like full stack application so if i just go here so you can see it is showing full stack application so similarly i just want to add the button here so i will be adding the add user button here so for that again go to the navbar.js here and just below this button so let me just type button and just type class name so we will be giving the button and just type button outline so you can just give the color as light and let me just type add user and if i just save this application so you can see the add user button has been successfully added so this is it for navbar so now we will be moving forward for the home page